Deb, we've been here many, many times. What do you like best about this bridge? I think I like the serenity. You know, Jay, when we ever take pictures, we always look for the mood. Uh, a lot of people have said they've come out here just to get replenished. They're hurting. They've had some kind of a memory. And it is a beautiful place just to take photographs. We've got the wildlife that floats underneath and and the birds that are here we've had eagles and i guess it's just a really special place that's good for your soul right. it has been for decades and decades that's correct it has been yeah. uh, this bridge has been here for 53 years and it didn't always look like this of course right. it was brought from the elk river which is in the south part of coffee county and uh it shared a passage with the next county so it was half in coffee and half in uh, Franklin, Franklin, County. Franklin County that's County, correct yeah. and it was moved here in 1970 to provide access to this new beautiful state park that was de de uh, dedicated in 1966 and they needed an access to the to the campground and because it's an historical park god bless them yeah. they chose this beautiful representation of a very rare and lovely what they call a through truss pratt designed bridge and the cool thing about it is those portals right there those decorative portals indicate through research that this was built by the nashville bridge company and it's one of the only remnants left of the nashville bridge company's very extensive bridge building experience in tennessee well for, for the park system to move an old bridge at that time they must have had some gleam exactly. of, 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 of hope that it would add to the park. Exactly. Uh, they as could opposed have just to just building exactly. build a new bridge exactly. in 1970. Yep. Exactly. Right? So, and, and Jay and I have taken so many beautiful pictures, not just in the park, but always here too, as well. And isn't it, there's always somebody here, isn't yeah, there? It, it is a favorite photo op location. Uh, we've seen uh, wedding pictures, prom pictures. Yep. Exactly. In fact, didn't you say you saw some people out the other day lined up to take pictures? Yeah, the prom kids were out here wanting their prom pictures taken. And while we were here at one point, remember that? They actually had a wedding. Wow. Two young <laughs> veterans, you know, that were in the, in the military came out here. They chose this bridge. So it has to have that emotional. To me, environment isn't just about water and habitat and air. It is about right. the people's environment in which they live. You know, like you can say, I grew up in a really happy environment, okay? So environment matters across the board. And we have a pristine, very valuable river. It is now considered one of the third most important rivers in the world. And it is considered one of the third most endangered in the United States. And remember, Jay, we used to uh, paddle up this river and go on up yes. and, and the island over there. Yes. Um, it, it has so much history and so much value. You don't see uh, bridges like this anymore because all these Department of Transportations and all these states are eliminating them and putting in the concrete precast. Right. And nobody goes to those to have their pictures taken. Right. You and I wouldn't be out here, would we, taking no. pictures of them? No, so it's important to save history for the future we aren't going to be that there that is one of the it. great reasons that that i answer people with when they ask me because i've had people ask me why why bother to save the bridge you know right. uh, we've got funds available let's just build a new bridge but that may not be the demographic of people that come out here with their grandkids and take pictures or get their prom pictures taken exactly. or get get married out here i've only been here a few times previously myself mm -hmm. but i see an immense value here in fact as a businessman i have been shocked that the park system does not have a marketing program 
that includes a beautiful entrance right here, possibly some parking spots, mm -hmm. maybe even a little little tiny gift shop or whatever, or restrooms available here to maximize this value. Because if parks don't get used, legislators will close them down or, or lower their funding and lower their funding. So uh, I think it ought to be maximized. And, I and agree. Uh, we hope, by the way, uh, when, if, if we save this bridge, or I'm going to say when we save this bridge, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to solicit donations from people to build an entrance right here that will be m memorial bricks. To enhance the gathering attraction right. of this bridge. Didn't you have somebody that you saw that actually a garden club comes out and decorates oh, yes, the bridge? Absolutely. There's several bridges in the, in the Northeast in particular and in Indiana where they have utilized the asset that's already here. Right. This is an asset for the community. It's an asset for uh, the state right. because it could be a flagship for how states can preserve rather than remove. Right. Uh, and Jay and I have always said that this bridge was one of our favorite elements in one of our favorite parks. And this park yes. finally had raised up. He's been to almost every state park in, wow. in, in, in the state. And, and being a photographer, these kinds of things are very important to us and it may not be important to the Parks Department or the Tennessee Department of Transportation But that doesn't include the wishes of all the people. Well, you know, we the, have the over, park is for the people. Well, we own it, right? <laughs> right. Exactly. And pay right. for it exactly. and maintain it. Exactly. <laughs> right. And we've got a petition of over, I think it was, Dave, was it 26 or 2,700 oh, people, yeah. signatures on the petition. We have two Facebook groups. With that, thousands of with people. With over 4,000 members right. of those two groups. Yeah. They don't join if they don't believe in the, in, in the proposal right. to save it. Right. Um, and uh, we have a proposal and we even paid for through the contributions of people like you and me and state representative Bricken and Senator right. Bowling and the community. We hired an independent uh, engineering firm that specializes in historic bridges. That gets, get, that gets to a point. The rest of why save the bridge. Mm -hmm. First of all, I mean, we got the historical value. Yes. We've got the, the cultural value. We, we've got the practical use value. I mean, it's marketability right. as a great asset for the park. But we also have the criticism that says, well, wait a minute. It's, it's, we've been told it's, it's critical and it's deteriorating even worse and it's going to fall in. So what happened with that? We, you said you raised money for an inspection. We raised money for the inspection. And lo and behold, these gentlemen came out here and spent about seven or eight hours inspecting this bridge, because that's what it takes on a, on a trust and, bridge. And they are trust bridge experts. And they are uh, trust bridge experts. experts. And right. they're historical trust bridge experts. They also do covered bridges. But in this case, they came and their report showed unequivocally that this bridge can be repaired. Word, I know. <laughs> that was a hard one. <laughs> you were supposed to help me with that. <laughs> uh, but they said, and they, we've got the report, and it's a wonderful report. It's beautifully prepared. This bridge can be brought up to the state's repair list right. for about 350000 Wow. But if we go all the way and do it right, so the bridge will be 100 years from now sitting here in its glory. Because the inspectors mentioned some optional oh, things yeah, they found, that they suggest doing. Well, right. they said it's important because that will save the bridge from one of these confrontations yeah, down the 10 road. Or 20 or 30 and years. that's about $746,000, which is less than 8% of the budget the state has proposed to remove it and replace it, which is eight and a half to ten million dollars, and that's today. That wow. doesn't include the three years of of construction that they plan on doing. They're going to disrupt this area for three years. Well, th that touches on the money part of it. Touches mm -hmm. on uh, one of those major reasons why save the bridge. Because I've had friends say, I used to go out there as teenagers, and you know, mm -hmm. I love going out there, yeah. but I don't go out there anymore. It's the bridge is no longer important to me. But you say they're going to spend how much money? Eight, Eight and, and a half, half to million, ten million million dollars today. Now, now my friends tell me now that is important to me. Yep. <laughs> you know, exactly. And, and I've done some calculations on this, and you know that money, federal money, is that right? Yes, hundred percent funded. So it's national debt money, That's right? Correct. Well, we now pay. Still came out of my pocket. Well, Gary, it will. You know? The interest so, on it will. That's right. Uh, so 
if we pay three and a half to four and a half percent interest to Japan, China, and other other stakeholders, which may be me in a retirement plan for all I know, we're, but we're paying an average of four percent on that money. You take a ten million dollar as a rounded off number, that's four hundred thousand dollars a year for a new concrete slab right here. Mm -hmm. That's a thousand ninety five dollars a day for a new concrete slab here. How many part? How, how many camping spots are there? Fifty. Fifty. How full does it stay? 49% on a year-round uh, basis, and of course in the winter uh, it is generally closed down because it's not So, so part of the year it's possible to have 50 spots full? Possible. possible. This bridge is now strictly a pedestrian bridge. Uh, pedestrians no longer have to share it with motor vehicles. There's a separate entrance for campers and motor vehicles. So this is really nice uh, for pedestrians. Campers like to uh, come across it. It's their way to get to the main park. Uh, people like to stop here and fish off this bridge. Downstream in this slow moving Duck River, there's a dam right around the bend. And it's over there by the visitor center. And then downstream from it are some beautiful waterfalls. And my hiking buddy and I like to get out actually in the river. It's fun to walk the river. Uh, as we said, beautiful waterfalls and a lot of visitors come. And, uh, they can have picnics, they can walk the trails, a lot of walking trail, a lot of hiking trails here. It's a haven for wildflowers of all kinds and uh, also a lot of wildlife. Duck River is one of the most diverse in the country. So uh, all in all, a beautiful place here at Old Stone Fort, but a lot of it centers around this beautiful bridge here at the Old Stone Fort State Park.